What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we are playing with this Rhyperior Trick Room team. So if you are excited, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Okay, so this team, Trick Room team, obviously if you have Rhyperior on it. But I'm a huge fan of this because it has the Hydreigon and the Arcanine on it as well. This team was actually made before the new season, so I feel like if you put Incineroar on this team over this Arcanine, it would be 10 times better because Incineroar, let's face it, it. He's just a better Arcanine. And Tinor is just a 10 times better Arcanine. Can do way more than him. Can parting shot out and do all that good stuff. And his base stats are 10 times better. But on this team, we have the Follow Me Togekiss that's going to pair well with that Jelly Scent with that Trick Room. So follow me in the Trick Room. Get rolling. We have that Rhyperior for big damage with that weakness policy with EQ, High Horsepower, and Rock Slide for stab. Once you get them all in that Trick Room, you just die to max them up. And it's pretty much game over. It is pretty much game over after that. We have the Hydreigon in the back end who's a rather fast Pokemon. We're going to be using them outside the Trick Room or in a Trick Room team for the end when the trick room ends you can roll out with him do some big damage with that dark pulse and draco meteor and flamethrower for coverage and then in the final spot we have our boy ferrothorn who i love ferrothorn with that lead seed he said that lead seed you could survive forever lead seed leftovers protect just constantly doing that you can stall out and end up winning some matches then he has gyro ball and power whip for stab damage Guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, run the code is at the bottom of the screen. And let me know for question of the day, what do you guys think of the new Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game? So I uploaded part one and two of that, and I've been loving it. If you guys haven't checked out that playthrough, please do. You will not, you will not regret it. It is awesome. It is so much fun. I feel like my commentary is awesome there because I'm just having so much fun and enjoying myself there. So definitely check it out and support the channel over on those videos. But guys, without further ado, let's hop onto the ranked double ladder. Try to get some wins with this Rhyperior Trick Room team. Look at my dude's team. His team looks awesome. He has a Trick Room team as well. He has Mudsail, Prima Arena. He has Competitive Milotic, Storm Jane, Gaston. Okay, so we don't have any water Pokemon. My Ferrothorn is definitely coming in here as he does some big work up against this team. He has a Gyro Ball for that Grimmsnarl as well. So he covers the water Pokemon and that Grimmsnarl. So Ferrothorn, you getting over here. Um, who do I want to play with? Who do I really want to play with? Um, do I have to Trick Room? I mean, I don't really have to. I mean, I could go Arcanine. Arcanine, yeah. Let's go. Arcanine would be a good lead with Togekiss. Then I feel like Ferrothorn and maybe Rhyperior or Togekiss. I kind of want that Hydreigon. I really do want that Hydreigon. Maybe we don't even play the, the Togekiss. Maybe we just don't even play the Togekiss here and go Hydreigon in that front spot. Let's withdraw you and you. I want, I want Ferrothorn in that back end. Actually, this is Intimidate Arcanine. I really don't want to go that way. I really do not want to go that route. Definitely, let's go Ferrothorn. I see my time run, running down. I definitely want Arcanine, but I don't want him to lead competitive and go from there. Let's go Bang. Let's go. Let's go Tokus. Let's go Rhyperior and Arcanine. We're going to keep Hydreigon out of this one. I have this Rhyperior just in case he does roll that Trick Room. I mean, I'm not going to bring my Trick Room on and waste a spot because I think he's going to bring his. This seems rather slow. I feel like the Pokemon I have to watch out for is that Primarina and getting in my Arcanine at the right time. Because that competitive Milotic can potentially take over if you let it set up or give it like an Intimidate and trigger its competitive nature. Not nature. It's competitive ability. But guys, if you want to catch more content from me, head to the link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. I highly recommend it. Come hang out with me. I would love to see you guys there, in all honesty. But good thing we did not lead that Arcanine. We pulled that last second there, which is nice. But the ground still does work onto my, uh, my Ferrothorn. So I think I'm just going to throw a Power Whip over on this left side. I feel like there's no reason for me not to. And just go into a follow me from there. Just go into a follow me. In case he wants to go for that ground move, we kind of just neglect some of that. I think he might Dynamax and go for that Rock Ball, to be honest. Which is kind of scary, but I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I think we're just chilling here. I know some people are, like, asking, like, yo, are ranked battles over with? Because I've been uploading back-to-back -back days on my uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. And no, ranked battles are not going anywhere. We're just going to be uploading something else instead because... Honestly, this channel is not just a Pokemon channel. It is not just a Pokemon channel. I feel like it's more of just a Nintendo channel. And I like to play what I like to play and have some fun. So I seriously hope you guys do come hang out onto the other videos and watch me for me. Just not watch me for Pokemon. You guys know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to just be known for just Pokemon. But I love Pokemon. I will be playing Pokemon on the channel a lot. I will. Hands down. But still, I just don't want to be known for just Pokemon. You guys know what I'm saying. But he's going to Dynamax his Mud Snail. And... Probably drop a rock. He's probably going to just drop a rock, play it smart. And who did he swap into? He swapped into that Dusclops, so he's going to eat up this Power Whip fairly well. Maybe he should just drop a little bit of Leech Seed action. This thing, weakness policy, has got to be weakness policy. Follow me, Pops here. Get over here, Mudsdale. Got to drop your rock, dude. Or go for a Quake. Just for a Steel Spike. And we got the Babiri. We got the Babiri, baby. But not bad. Nice little Babiri Berry action. 
That's totally fine. I honestly just should have went into like an air slash or something, just do damage. But I thought he was gonna go for a uh, Max Quake. I just thought he was gonna go for a Max Quake. I hope he goes for Trick Room. I really do hope he goes for the Trick Room. It would be tight, nice power whip. Comes flying out here. Do a little bit of damage over to Clopsy Poo. Look at that. Yeah, get him. I love the way power whip looks. Just one more way. Just slamming down on him. Just slam down. Oh, uh, I think I set up the Leech Seed. Over on Pampross. What kind of name is that? We got Pampross over here. Do I yawn? I could yawn up. Yawn could be type nice. I think I'm still going to go for the follow me. He takes me out. He takes me out. Right? He's got to be going for the Steel Spike now. Actually, I'll throw a yawn. I'll throw a yawn because we do have the speed advantage. I can put this thing to sleep. Because I seriously think he's still going to go for Steel Spike. I really do think he's still going to go for Steel Spike. Predicting the follow me. Let's see what he does. Go, nice little yawny poo onto him. Get out of my face. I'm gonna leech him up. Yep, Steel Spike still does come through and we get a yawn off before we do go. So yeah, I didn't even want to waste it follow me. Oh, we get we survive as well. That's huge. That is huge. That boost your defense, my dude. That's why I'm leech seeding, yawning you. Just trying to do some little bit of damage to take you out eventually. He's gonna go for it. Oh, whoa, hold the phone. Did not expect this thing to go with a rock slide. And I better not flinch. I better not flinch on my Paragorn. I'd be mad. I'd be mad, I'd be fuming. <laughs> Okay, cool, cool, cool. We do land the lead sheet. I was going to be like, come on, what you mean? There we go. We got the lead sheet. Leftover is just going to bring us back to pull off. He was looking for the flinch. I'm surprised he didn't go trick room. I'm surprised he did not go trick room. Uh, is now the time to Dynamax my Rhyperior? With all these slow mons up in here, and it's a physical attacker? That might be the time to actually get my Arcanine out here and put some burns on. That's the play. Let's get the Arcanine out here now. Get a burn onto him. I'll take that mud sale. Cause that'd be huge. That would be huge. Get that burn on that mud sail and half his physical damage, and then eventually roll out into my right period. Uh, let's go into. I might just protect here. I think I was just protecting my Ferrothorn and going for that Will O' Wisp. Like we have to get off this Will O' Wisp once we land it. We'll be chilling. Oh no, the Yawn's not gonna come then. But I'd rather have this burn. I totally rather have this burn. I should have double protected. I should have double protected. So mm, that's tough. Hundred percent should have double protected. Ah, man! Kinda man, I'm kinda man. I totally forgot about the arm. Okay, but the burn will actually help us out, too, so... Either or, it's gonna be nice. But I'd rather get to sleep, survive my Arcanine, do some work on the other side, and then go into a, uh... A burn. Let, let us get that sleep value. But what is gonna pop? Okay, so no more sleep. That's fine. I'll get the burn on. We'll just start doing a little chippy damage. A little chippy damage. And he's gonna go for a quick. He's gonna go for a quick. Go on my Ferrothorn. That would be huge if you go for my Ferrothorn. No, I knew he was going for Arcanine. But my Arcanine won't eat. Look how much less damage he's doing because of that burn. So that burn was was pretty big. It was pretty big. Not even through Protect. He's going to raise his special defense. Um, how should I roll out from here? I feel like I just have to do some work over onto that uh, that little boy over there. That Clopsy Clops. Oh, do I throw a burn on him as well? Where's our Citrus Berry? I think I throw a burn on him as well. And maybe double Leech Seed? Oh, could be doing that. Could be doing that. Let's just have Leech Seeds from both ends. This could be a long match. It'll be a long match, my dudes. I really don't want to get my Rhyperior in there just, just yet. But we have our Dynamax. We have our Dynamax. Um, bup, bup. Let's go into... Do I want a Power Whip? Do I want a Power Whip or do I want to Leech Seed over on him? I say I just Power Whip start doing some work over on this boy. Then I throw a Burn over on this one. Okay. Chill. I think we're doing just fine. Because I know he has Rock Slide, so that can neglect some of that Rock Slide damage. And he doesn't have that Dynamax, which is huge. Will Lewis comes through. Yeah, I hear you, baby. Yo, I get burned. Yo, we are just pestering out here. We have a right period in the back, like I said. That's huge. That is huge. Burns come out. High horsepower is rolling. We're going to eat this one up all day. Look at that, dude. Poo poo damage. Poo poo damage. Icy Wind's going to lower our speed. We are already slow. We are already slow, and I don't really care for the Arcanine too, too much. Like, my Ferrothorn is probably already one of the slowest here, besides the Dust Cops. And then he has the Milo Tick in the back end, right? Did we kill one of his mons yet? I don't think we did. Oh, we're going to start taking him out right here. Go big power whip. I'm going to start throwing a lead seed over on the other side now. I mean, Burn's just going to start taking away. And we have lead seed on this thing as well. But I would love to get a lead seed on that Dust Cops because Dust Cops might be here for a good bit. So I can eventually just start. Oh, wait, we triggered his weakness policy. Do I take out? I think I have to take out here now. I think that's a fact. I have to take out here. But this thing's boosted. He has very high stats right now. But the Burn is going to neglect a lot of that. Hmm. How should I roll? I'm kind of confused on how I should roll. I'm thinking of actually still Leech Seeding over on you. 
I think it affects him and just going for a flare blitz over on him and making sure he goes down. Because I know my Arcanine will outspeed. And I don't want this weakness policy to do big, big damage on me. Let's see. Let's go flare blitz. Boop. Take him out. No, it does not. We have to wait for this burn. We have to wait for this burn and the uh, Leech to take out. But he's going to take out my Arcanine, which I'm totally fine with. I really am fine with the Arcanine. Body press comes through. Oh, on my Ferrothorn. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. He's going to go for a Nate Shade probably on my Arcanine. Iron Barb's going to take him out. That's fine. But I get no HP back. So good thing we're throwing this Leech Seed over there. So we can get some more HP back from the Leech Seed. Oxide Pops, you do not tell me this flinches my boy. Do not tell me this flinches my Ferrothorn. Come on, baby. Yes, okay. He gets off the Leech Seed. Give me that. Seed it right in front of him, dude. Leech Seed is one of my favorite moves. It is one of my favorite moves. Because it's just a pester move. Keeps you alive for a while. I could protect this turn as well. But I wonder who he's going to go into. That's my question. Whoever he goes into, I should put a burn on. I know he has a Milo tick. And I cannot go for a Snarl. Because it's a competitive. Um, who are you going into? He has Milo tick. I don't think he's shown his fourth Pokemon just yet. I don't think you did it yet. I could always just protect. I'm not too worried about the ice move. He goes Primarina. Okay, he goes Primarina here. So I'm going to just throw a nice big power whip on this thing. And I'm going to snarl. I'm going to snarl this thing because I'm allowed to. I'm allowed to. Unless he's reading me hard and going into the Milo tick, reading the snarl. That could be huge. That could be his winning ticket. And he does not. We get the snarl off here. Gonna drop that Primarina special attack. Dude, Arcanine, so good. He's so good. But like I said in the beginning of the video, Incineroar just does what he does 10 times better. He can learn Snarl. He can learn this exact same moveset. But I'm a big fan of this moveset. I really am. Hey, he's gonna hit his uh, Dust Cops here. Wait, he's gonna take out my Arcanine probably. The yeah, Arcanine goes down. That's totally fine. That's 100% fine by me. We got a special attack drop. And this Power Whip's gonna fly through on this side here. Oh, his burn was sealed. That is so good. That move is so good for that reason only. Oh my god, big damage from him. Power Whip comes out. This might be able to take. I think this might take. Let's see. Oh, so close. So close. Our leftovers and our lychee is going to pop through. Do I just lychee this thing? How should I roll up? Like, it's going to hit me anyway. It is going to hit me anyway. So I feel like I just lychee and take the Primarina out with the lychee just to get a little bit of HP back. And we Dynamax it right here. We Dynamax it right here. We have to. He might double into me. So I might just guard. I honestly might guard and take out the, the Primarina. Is that the call? Guard, take out Primarina? No, 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 no. No, no. Don't guard yet. We can go for a Quake and actually boost our stats. Our special defense stats. And go into this Dust Cops. Lead Seed! Yeah. This is going to probably go for a Sparkling Aria. Which could do big damage because it's special attacking and my Rhyperior's special defense is in the trash can. Just terrible. But I feel like we can eat up with this 400 some HP and that minus one on special attack. Look at this. 438 sings a beast. My Rhyperior is the Trick Room God. He's the Trick Room God. But dude, Ferrothorn is definitely coming up clutch. See, that did some big damage, which I'm scared for. This is why I'm just throwing a Leech Seed into this thing. And he triggers our weakness policy, which is nice. It triggers our weakness policy, but this is why I'm throwing just a lead seed onto the Prima Arena. It's because it's going to take it out, and we get some HP back as well. So it's like a win-win there. And I knew he was hitting me first. We're going to pick up this double KO. Now it comes down to 2v1, and we still have our Ferrothorn. He's been chilling here forever. Forever, dude. We got a big special defense boost as well. And we got our Arcanine in there at the perfect time. Like, at the perfect time. Look at that. Let me lead seed you. Give me your health. Give me your health, my man. Mwah, give it up. Get that leftovers HP. Get that what's called as well. So either way, we're doing big damage. He's probably going to go first because the what's called is faster. The Milotic's going to be faster. He's either going to go for a Hypnosis, which is the scary part. He's either going to go for a Hypnosis or he's going to dump on my right period. If he dumps on my right period, I can pull a Power Whip out. Just more blam, more blam, more blam. I'm thinking I should guard. I honestly think I should guard here. You got a free power whip and kind of secure this win. Right? Am I right? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go for it. I'm going to secure this. I don't think he's going to take me out. Actually, he probably will take me out if he goes just for a scald. Yes! Beautiful call by me to read this and probably secure the match. We probably just secure this. Probably not now because my boy missed! My boy missed his power whip! Did that just lose us the game? I made that wonderful read. And that happens? Get out my face, dude. Yeah, my face. We are plus one on the special attack board. Which is pretty nice. Or special defense board. But plus two on special. 
Alright, can we eat this? Okay, right here eats it anyway. That's awesome. That should be game. That should be game. A weakness pop while's policy. Right here dropping a nice stab, Max Quake into Smile Attack. Boop! GG, let's go. I thought he was gonna kill me because I missed that power whip. And then my power whip wasn't gonna kill him. He was gonna kill me with like an icy wind or an ice beam or something. But GG, match one in a bag. Let's hop into battle number two and try to go 2 0 with this team. Ooh, look at this guy. A little bit of rain team with a Cursula and a Pikachu. And a big Pikachu with the Gudra as well. So I gotta watch out for that Sap Sipper Gudra. Definitely probably not gonna bring my Ferrothorn. For that reason, actually, I could bring him and just play very very safe like we know he has it we know he has it i'm gonna roll trick room here for sure for sure so let's go jelly scent into togekiss we'll bring i i think no we're not gonna bring fire thorn i think we're just gonna go hydrogon into rhyperior and bang call it like that we call it like that and we're gonna try to get the trick room show off this side how to play it like this but last game i didn't have to play the trick room. he had all slow mons if he wants to play the trick room himself it would kind of benefit probably me a little bit more because this is a really good trick room team but yeah this is what like i said this team was made in like season two season two right or season three however you want to look at it because this is series three but i believe it's season four but i'm not too sure i'm not too sure i had some people tell me otherwise but this team was made before this new season so incinemar wasn't part that's why i would change this into incinemar and make this team 10 times better but i really do like argonaut i really do like Argonite. but like i said you just can't beat that incinemar it's too good the space stats are phenomenal everything about it it's tight guys but we go jelly jelly belly to set up this trick room and I, I should go for a follow me here. Because he has some uh, mean little moves that can actually do some work on me. I think he might actually Dynamax that, uh, that Gudra. As it's going to be Assault Blessed. That thing's a tank. It's a tank. It's not. Okay, that's good for us. That's fine. That's fine by me. He's just an absolute tank. He's probably going to go for a Sludge Bomb. He's going to knock off our... Uh, what are we even holding? Our Babiri Berry. Our Babiri Berry. Leave my Babiri Berry alone in a Sludge Bomb Blaster. That's going to be super effective. Do a decent amount. Okay, so, oh, and he gets the poison. And he gets the poison. Who would have guessed it? Trick room pops. That's totally fine. I'm going to just go for another follow me. Do a little bit of damage onto his mons before mine goes out. And then we can roll in with that right here. And just be like, yeet, D-Max. Let's get rolling. <laughs> uh, do I gig? Do I gig or Shunsap? No, Shunsap doesn't really do anything. I guess I'll just gig a drain. And do I yawn? Let's go for yawn. Let's go for yawn. Let's move him on rather faster. Let's see if we can pull off this yawn. It's still a geeky drain, because I think he's just going to sludge bomb anyway, so what's the point of even going into that, uh... What's the point of even going into the follow me? Yeah, see, he goes to the sludge bomb anyway, and so that's just going to take us out. Dang it! Went for the yawn. And then he's going to get a... What, what's he rolling? Giga drain? Something along those lines. Ice beam. Okay. I'm fine by it. Now, the real question is, who do I take out? I got to take out the Ludicolo. With my right here. I have to max quake into that Ludicolo. And get him out the way. Let's go. Let's get it, baby. Actually, I'm a rock vault. I'm a rock vault just for the fact he could potentially switch that power. And I don't want to get a free, uh, let him get a free little shot on me. So, I'm going to, what do I even want to do? Maybe go for the burn on this thing? It's, it's, it's got to be a sap sipper. So, I don't want to hit it with a grass move. Let me just roll out. Why did I quake? Why did I just quake? It's not even very effective. I, like, I just told myself I'm dropping the rock because he's going to switch to the power. And jeans, what are you doing? <laughs> Bruh. I always, I'm just like, clicking those buttons, dude. Oh my god. I even said it. Look, look at this. Okay, he, he swaps that into the curse law. That's totally fine, because he's going to start shun stepping me. Hopefully we can get the burn. But she's like, come on. Now I don't think we're going to take this thing out, to be honest with you. I hope he does trigger our weakness policy, because then we can do some work on the curse law. Maybe we get the burn. I'm going to need a special attacker, which I have a Hydrogon in the back end for that Cursula. For that Cursula. 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 Let's get it, baby. Let's go. Do your work. Oh, we see D-Max. Boy, right here. We're seeing D-Max Ludicolo. This actually... I'm a fan. I'm a fan that he's going with the D-Max Ludicolo. This actually could work out good for us. Unless he, he might be able to one-tap my right here, which is scary. Just scary, yo. Look at that little shimmer. He's like, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> he does a little bit of shimmy action. Let's see what happens. We get off this scald. Hopefully, we can get a burn on this thing. That'd be tight. Nice. This thing's a pain in the neck with that ego. Like, I wish we had knock off. He curse bodied our scald. You hunk of junk. Max quick falls through. I wish I dropped the rock. Let's see how much damage you do. We do get the special defense uh, plus that boost. You get the special defense boost, which is nice. So maybe we can eat up a shot. 
and go for a weakness policy shot. Could be good. Overgrowth. Mm, please. Oh, is that all my jelly? That's all my jelly belly. Leave jelly belly alone. Jelly belly eats. Jelly belly. Yeah. Do I strength that? Just get full HP again. Did you know his curse was? Oh, Cursula is actually going to strength up me. And I feel like we take out the the Ludicolo with a uh, a Max Rock Ball. So I feel like we just go for a straight Giga Drain. Instead of wasting a strength sap, we can do some damage. Look at everybody getting HP. What do you, oh, you have leftovers. I was like, what did I trigger? I was like, there's no way I triggered my the weakest policy. Um, mm, Giga Drain. We cannot use uh, Skull and then Rock Ball. Rock Ball, baby. I actually boost our special defense as well, which is nice. You are slower than us? You little biscuit. You little biscuit just gave him so much. That's gonna keep that Ludicolo alive. I am so surprised that that thing outsped us. Big drain. And then that trick room. We're gonna do a little bit of damage. But my main concern is getting rid of that Cursula, and I have my Hydra on for that. The Rock Fall. Not gonna take it out now, which is rather scary. Kinda tough. So, boop. I think we might have been able to take it out with that uh with that normal attack. Everyone's gonna fly through. Are you triggering my weak spot? No, you gotta be taking out my jelly belly. Yeah, he's gonna take out my jelly belly. Not my jelly belly. Okay. Ijigan's gonna roll through here. It's like trick room's almost over actually. Trick room is almost over. How many turns left in trick room? That's my question. I think we have one? Right? One? One or maybe two. I think we have one. I think we have one left. Ludico is going to get the HP. He's going to get the leftover. Stop it. Stop it. This match isn't looking good for us, guys. First, let's just a pain in the neck. We have Dark Pulse, which is super effective. I wonder what he's going to do. I wonder. Let's just go for protect. Yeah, I'm going to protect here. I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this thing. I'm gonna get rid of the Ludicolo. He's playing this one so well. We go for the Protect. Ursula might strength sap again, but I still think we're eating up. He's gonna strength sap again. Burn probably would've been better overall, but I still feel like we are taking out this Ludicolo here, even on the minus two board. It's just tough for us though, because now we're just nothing after this. We're just nothing after this Ludicolo. We should be able to take, right? Yeah, okay, we take out the Ludicolo. No complete sweep for this guy. Um, now it all comes down to my Hydreigon. It really does all come down to my Hydreigon. Because my right period is minus two. It is just done. Unless he triggers our weakness policy. That's our way back in. That's our ticket back into this match. He should trigger the weakness policy and get rolling from there. We don't have a trick room either. My Hydreigon should be fastest. And I could just roll into it. Dark Pulse Stab with the Life Orb on the Corsola. But the Corsola is just here to pester. Pester physical attack damages. Ooh. Ooh, I think we can potentially dump on this thing. I, we gotta go for the Gujra. We gotta go for the Gujra. The fact. Do I drop a Meteor? Oh! Hmm. No. I don't drop the Meteor just yet. I'm gonna go for the Rock Slide. Actually, Rock Slide wouldn't do much. Uh, I'm gonna go for the EQ. I'm gonna go for the EQ because it won't affect my Hydreigon. He's levitating. EQ is not gonna do too much anyway. Dark Pulse comes through. I'm hoping to give him maybe the flinch on this thing or do some big damage. Look at that. Nice damage on that thing. Stab. Super effective with the Light Forward. But I'm scared this Scrooge might take me out. Oh, he goes for Dragon Balls. He does. He's going to take me out. I should have just Dragon Meteor him. But the thing, the thing is, if I would have Dragon Meteor, that would have just dropped my special attack down. And I would have been I would have been done anyway. I would have just been done anyway. Let's go. EQ Pops. They're both going to be able to eat this up all day. But GG to this guy. We're just going to run here. Hopefully, my, I can keep my right here. I just want to have him survive, so I'm going to run. And then with a whistle, like, dude, it was over. It was over. If I would have went for a Dragon Meteor on that, it was. I think it was still over. We would have one tapped the Gujra, but our special attack would have been gone. Would have been gone. It's like a, it's like an opposite of a weakness policy when you use moves like that. There's big damage, but you're done after that. You're really done after that. But you this guy. We're now one and one with this team. I'm actually gonna run this battle. I'm gonna run out of here. Eat my right peer. You're surviving. Not gonna let him be tortured. All that good stuff. And hop into a third and final battle and try to go with a winning record. No, so, let's get it, guys. Third and final battle coming at you guys. This guy has an orb beetle. An orbital, and I think it's a G Max orbital because I've been seeing that a little bit on the ladder. But if you guys are hanging out with me in this battle, give me a little bit of hashtag orbital squad. Let's me know who hangs out, who watches the videos all the way through. But yeah, potentially G Max orbital. I don't want to go my Arcanine because I can see him leading that Milo tick. 
Um, he has Arcanine of his own. He might go Arcanine into... Blah, 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 blah. I gotta run Trick Room. I really do have to run Trick Room here. I'm gonna go Jelly Belly into this again. I'm gonna go Rhyperior, but this time I'm gonna go Ferrothorn instead of that Hydreigon. I'm gonna go Ferrothorn instead of that Hydreigon, see if I can change some things up. But the Orb Beetle's G-Max move, it's G-Max Gravitas, I think it's called. But it puts a gravity on the field, so any Levitate Pokemon will be on the ground. So, like, to have the Hydreigon in there, he's probably rolling out with G-Max Orb Beetle. It's just gonna neglect it. It's just gonna be like, he's gonna, we're gonna be able to get hit by ground move. It's gonna be tough. He has Orbito Milo Tick. This is why I did not lead my Arkipoo. And I think he's gonna Dynamax right off the rip. We're gonna be able to get this Trick Room up, baby. Orbito is such a cool Pokemon. I really did like his design when he first came in. This looks like, looks like a, a Transformer bug. Like, he, he looks like he'd be in the Transformers movie. That's a fact. Uh, we gotta roll Trick Room. Trick Room, yeah. Follow me. Everybody over here. He might actually coil. Which is sad. He's, he might actually coil or uh, go for a hypnosis. Ooh. Ooh, tough. Tough news. Follow me. Wimp, wimp. Or, dude, he's probably, probably read that all day. He's gonna imprison Trick Room. You hunk of junk. He's an imprisoning Trick Room. Pokemon. Wow. That's actually pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Nice call by him. He gets that imprison up. Let's see this. Ooh, it's already not looking good for us, guys. We have the speed drop. Trick room in prison. We cannot use it. Uh, I'll just go into a nice little Giga Drain then. And then roll out. Dude, he just doing me dirty. He's doing me dirty. I'm going to just go for an air slash on this thing. I think he's going to Dynamax now. But his G-Max form looks so cool. He literally turns into a UFO. He's just wah, 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 wah. Just a saucer. <laughs> what are you going to do, my dude? What are you doing? I don't know why he went for now. He's went like I feel like he outsped sped me anyway. But I guess not my token kiss. Yeah, not my token kiss. Hmm. Hmm. What are you doing, dude? What are you doing? Come on, buddy, make a move. Make a move. We are in Master Ball tier now. So these are all Master Ball battles. So these are pretty high up on the ranking. He's imprisoning again. You have to imprison again. So I can't use it for that turn. I'm not going for another trick room. I'm not going for another trick room. But Jelly Sand's gonna go back down to, oh god, lower our speed. Jelly Sand's gonna go back down up to full HP. Well, she only been losing a lot, uh, like nothing. I say a lot. Air Slash pops, we're gonna do a decent amount. Yes, sir. Not bad, and the Giga Drain's gonna do a decent amount. Is this weakness policy? Yo, this thing's weak, this policy. Now it's time to go for trick room. I thought once you imprison, I can't use it for that whole thing. But he's making me think I can, considering he imprisoned again. Hmm. Hmm. What is the call? What is the call? I think I might try to click Trick Room and see if it will go through. Okay, that's it. Or, or is there like a turn on my imprison? Imprison. Okay, I am imprison. Okay, so I cannot use it. Like he's gonna pop again. Then another Air Slash should be able to take that thing out, unless he Dynamaxes. I don't think he is going to die Max. He probably will. Every time I say he's not, he does. Yeah, see? <laughs> That's just a thing. Every time I'm like, oh, he's probably not. Every time I say probably, that word, then they do. Whatever I say, they're not going to do. But look at this thing. It is G-Max. Look at it. It's a UFO. <laughs> oh, my God. That is a cool looking G-Max. Look at me. It's a little light going down. <laughs> Looks so cool. It really does. Yep, G-Max Gravitas pops out here. Is that going to take us out? We survive, my dude. My dude survives. Icy Wind's gonna come through. Oh, look at that. Gravity comes onto the field. But he's gonna go Icy Wind and probably kick us out. He's gonna go Hypnosis. Oh, you doubling into that. That's fine. That's kind of scary, but it's fine, I guess. Lucas is asleep. And we'll get another Giga Drain off here. Hopefully, we can have a quick turn and be able to get off of Follow Me while Click Naps. And he wasted his Dynamax. Which I'm fine with. I could go Ferrothorn. How do I want to play this? I'm scared of that, uh, that Milotic. That Milotic is definitely a scary mon. I can't do much. Like, I cannot do much. I think Giga Drain's gonna fly here. We're gonna go for it. Follow me. That Milotic's scary. But Orbeetle, dude. Orbeetle's dope. What's he gonna go into from here? He's probably gonna take out my Togekiss. Yeah, Overgrowth is gonna pop. This thing is Overgrowth. What tough news. That's tough news. And that's weakness policy damage. That's huge damage. He's gonna go into an Icy Wind. Giga Drain's gonna give me a little bit of HP back. But I wish I can go for a trick room. I wish I could do it. I'm surprised this thing had imprisoned. Smart, smart play for him to roll in that. 
Hypnotic's gonna roll. Oh my lord, dude. He's just landing these things left and right. I don't really know what to do from here. I mean, we're wasting his D-Max turns, which is actually pretty good. Not bad that we're wasting these turns. He trying to go for another follow me. Maybe we'll wake up. Maybe not. But his D-Max turns will be over, and I have the Fire Thorn. I do not have the Trick Room now. <laughs> the Trick Room is going to be... Was our friend here? Oh! Tough news. Tough news here. This guy's kind of just playing this one good. That G-Max will be over. Let's go for a Sunset. I just go on the Orb Beetle. The Orb Beetle, and then we'll go for Follow Me. If we wake up, which way? I can see us maybe waking up this turn. Nope, of course not. Jeans, his RNG stinks. And he goes for an Overgrowth, takes out my boy, and then he's going to take out my Tokus as well. Hi, right, Jelly Sent. Thanks for playing. <laughs> not looking good for you, boy. Not looking good. Hey, she win. Oof. I took a kiss. Have a good day. <laughs> Why is this Orbital was weak as possible? Dude, we do not have Trick Room. That's the tough part. I want to Dynamax the, the Ferrothorn so bad. I really do. I can't. I have to Dynamax it right here. Wait, he's going to go Hypnosis. He's going to go Hypnosis. That's a fact. We got to go right here. We have to Dynamax this right here. And the Hypnosis is a pain. And then I just go Power Whip into the Milotic, and I have to drop a rock. I have to drop a rock! Bam, 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 bam. I feel like Orbital can be used, like, so... He's so versatile now, so he can be used for screens, for one. And then he can be used for this G-Max move or hitting hard now. So let's go. We gotta drop a rock on you. And Power Whip across. What you want, my dude? What you want? I don't know if he's gonna go for an Icy Wind. They both outspeed me, so I don't think there's a point for him to go for an Icy Wind. I think he's just gonna Hypnosis on my Viperior, and hopefully he misses, considering he hit two in a row and he has no accuracy boost. So I'm hoping. I am hoping. I mean, that should kind of be the, the numbers don't lie. He should kind of miss here. But knowing my luck, he's just gonna be like, land, land, landed. Let's see. Orbeal goes for an energy ball. Ooh. Oh my lord, that's some big damage. Let's not take us out, but if we land this, we can be, we can be big. Better not go for that hypnosis. Let's see. Dude, what did I say? He lands it, bro. Get out of here. Get out of my face. We are fast asleep. Not looking good. Not looking good. Oh. I was going to come here. We're probably going to go one and two with this team. Rough last two matches. He bops on that fool. He bops on that fool. But of course he lands that hypnosis. He didn't land that hypnosis. We were, we're still in this. But he lands the hypnosis. Three in a row, dude. This hunk of junk. With no accuracy boost. I would understand if it's a Butterfree. Because you know the Butterfrees don't miss with that accuracy boost and uh well with that accuracy boost ability but like come on like when i'm using like venusaur with like sleep powder and all that i always be missing i'm always missing because i don't have any accuracy boosts but this man's hit three in a row get out of here get him out okay but it's cool that we got to show off going up against an orb beetle especially a g-nice one very cool pokemon new in the meta well, I don't know if he's like part of the meta yet, but like he's been he's new into the season, so you might be seeing him a good bit. This means he's gonna fly through. He's just gonna dump on my uh, he's gonna dump on my uh, what's it called my boy. Actually, power up would be more damage onto it. He's gonna dump on my uh, my fire throne with the close combat. We know it, we know it's coming. Leave me alone. Energy ball connects you. This orb beetle swamps on us. This orb beetle swamps on us, dude. But yeah, you can't win them all. You can't win them all. We go one and two with this team. Because I know this close combat is coming in. Take me out. Oh, a knockoff. He's just toying with me. He's just toying with me. The iron barbs come out. What you want, dude? What you want? This fire thorn's coming for you. Knock over my my little half-eaten apple. We coming in with that power whip. I mean, I still think there... Is there a chance? Is there a chance? It, it, it really depends. No, because that Pissimian's Pism just going to knock on me here. We'll let it happen. We'll let it happen. Let that roll. We we are uh, back in normal gravity. The gravity didn't really do anything. He didn't really have a team to work well under the gravity, but salute to my boy, Ferrothorn. Salute to you, boy. I knew the close combat was coming in. Rest easy. 
Rest easy, Barrett one. But yeah, two or not two and one. One and two with this team. Got to win. Lost our last two. But yeah, it's all good. It's all good. We got to show off this team. And I'm glad we got to show off a little bit of Orbital action. Not too bad. We got to show off this team in the first match. Do some work. We lost the next two, but still, it was pretty cool. One thing I would change about this team, like I said, I would put Incineroar in this. I feel like that would give this team the boost that it really needs in this new season. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Also, don't forget, go check out that Pokemon Mystery Dungeon playthrough. Tons of fun. I highly recommend it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.